called capsaicin, really useful for pain. This is just a cap capsicum or hot pepper infused oil, and you can use this on the skin or you can make a salve out of it by adding things like beeswax or carnauba to it just to thicken it up. Mm -hmm. uh, cayenne is great for reducing pain with arthritis. Okay. And so we have some commercially prepared creams, but it's fairly easy to make at home. Rub it on the skin, you'll get this warm sensation, but then uh, the pain will go away afterwards and it can really be useful for people who have chronic pain in their Interesting. joints. Interesting, okay. That's I brought some flax seeds, you know, we have kind of non-traditional cooking spices in our pantry as yeah. well, the things we use with baking. So these are flax crackers I make, made last night. They took about 15 minutes. Great uh, fiber source, good way to help to increase bowel movements. And flax is a good source of oils. We don't get a lot of good healthy omega-3 and omega-6 oils in our diet, and this is a really easy source to get them. Now you talk about garlic mm -hmm. being fresh versus aged. So there's a difference there. There's a difference. Fresh garlic is really good as an antimicrobial. You have that strong bite on your tongue when you take it. Aged garlic is much better for cholesterol lowering and helping with the cardiovascular.